here. Uh, I'm going to show you how, how I started fire in, in the uh, pizza party oven. So uh, what, what we have here is we have, a, I have a little, a, like a, I guess these things are used for killing weeds. It's like a weed killing a flamethrower and you, you attach these. I, I guess there are various kinds sold in your area. I like to use these because uh, it, it saves time. So I'll we'll go ahead and lock that on, get that started. And uh, in this bucket here, I have some kindling. Uh, this will ignite a lot faster than just a couple of pieces of firewood. So I'm using that. And I have a, like a hand lighter too. These are called chakamans if they make sure that works. There we go. Yeah, that's working. Got that, got our oven here. And then over here I have a crate. I have a couple crates. These are different size pieces of wood. Uh, on the left side, I call these my, my flamethrowers. And the right side, these are my heat keepers. So heat keepers, I, I call them heat keepers. They're, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, the thicker ones, they're, they're fine. They'll, they'll produce flame, but these ones, this, the smaller pieces will, will throw bigger flames. These are great for cooking. And also for when you're starting a fire, they, they, uh, they don't resist, uh, they, they heat up faster and then they ignite quicker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a couple of uh, flamethrowers here like this, and I'm gonna use a couple of these on the bottom. So first we're gonna put, we're gonna put the heat keepers on the bottom. Yep. These are the heat keepers. Set them roughly in the center. I'm gonna put the, the slightly thicker flamethrowers on the top, right there. And then the smaller flamethrowers, I call them, because they're thin and catch fire quick. And then the kindling goes on the top. And I'll kind of crisscross a little bit, make sure that there's plenty of air flow. You can use bark for, for uh, kindling too. Uh, but caution, I mean, they, you know, they can be quite smoky, but I don't care. I'm at the beach today, so I don't think anyone's going to complain about smoke because everyone's barbecuing around here today. Okay. And then we'll uh, ignite our little gas thing here. There we go. Okay. We got that started. Okay, we got that started. So now we're going to go straight to the top here. Now by going to the top, what we're doing here is we're kind of creating a top-down fire where the top starts to burn first and and it has airflow below it, so it'll ignite faster and because they're smaller pieces all the kindling that should burn that should burn easily. And as the embers fall, they'll start to warm up the pieces of wood below them. And uh, we should have a, a roaring flame in, in no time. Now normally I could just leave this off and it should start by itself. And you can go off and do other things, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get this puppy started. And just get it, uh, get the flame roaring. Get all this ignited. So doing a fire like this, it, you, you can uh, reduce the amount of smoke actually by doing it top down. And I could probably go right underneath it there and get some flame underneath the fire, underneath the, the pile of wood I mean.
Okay, that seems to be working well. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. And if you notice uh, the chimney out here, uh, it's not all that much. Well, there's a little bit of smoke, but it's not that bad. It's not billowing at all. It's just kind of a little misty color. And then and you can see the flames really caught, caught well there. So what we're gonna do here, because we're still gonna keep the fire, we wanna keep the fire warm. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a couple pieces of wood just here on the side. Now these are just gonna warm up. Oops, these are just gonna, kind of get warm with that heat in there so these will ignite later okay so that's that's working and that's basically how you start a fire uh, once that fully takes takes uh, and gets into a huge flame uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll take these out and then I'll set them on top and uh, that'll be that'll be enough to get this heated in about 25 minutes maybe less and that's it for starting a fire in a wood-fired pizza party oven. So thanks for watching and see you next video with some pizzas.